This is Eyewitness News with Bill Butel, Roseanne Scamardella for Roger Grimsby, and the Eyewitness News team. Africa loses a veteran leader. The latest on the new war in Vietnam, Evelyn Cantor, counts the calories in light beers, and Joel Siegel has an exclusive talk with Bruce Springsteen. He's back in New York, and he's had a sellout concert. All coming up. Bruce Springsteen is back in town this week for a series of sold-out concerts at Madison Square Garden, and Joel Siegel reports the kid from Asbury Park is keeping him clapping and stomping in the aisles. His name is Bruce Springsteen. I call him the boss. Bruce Springsteen is to rock and roll what fireworks are to the 4th of July. 20 years ago, there was Chuck Berry and Buddy Holly. 10 years ago, the Rolling Stones. Mick Jagger hasn't been in a decade what Bruce Springsteen is today. The other comparisons. Dylan covets a distance from his audience. Springsteen loves his audience so much, he dives into them head first. Elvis ended his days locked into Graceland, a fantasy turned prison. Springsteen is real. He doesn't try to be anything other than what he is. A kid of factory parents from Freehold, New Jersey, brought up in those blocks between the Trotters and the Drag Strip in English Town. At 18, he ran away to Asbury Park, playing at beer bars and on the boardwalk. Rock and roll was his language and his escape. the stars through light, all billion dancing in the moonlight. We were down in the water. And my mother, she was 18, she worked every day. And my father, you know, he had a lot of different jobs. He worked, there was a, there was a general, general consciousness, one of, was one of survival. And you don't get outside that consciousness. You, like, there wasn't a lot of books. There wasn't a lot of music. There wasn't any music until I bought, like, you know, my, you know, records. It was more down to, like, get the money, bring it home, put it on the table, you know. Because I got in a cab with a guy in Texas, you know, and he said, you know, I go to some concerts and I feel good the whole next day, you know. And I go to yours and, uh, I feel good for a week. And then some kids come up and say, you know, oh, I heard Born to Run, I heard Darkness on the Edge of Town, and it made me do this, or, or it made me do that. You can change people's lives and people's directions in, in, in some ways. You know, that's the best thing that you can do, and that's what happened to me when I first heard, you know, the early rock, rock and roll and stuff. That's what it did for me. Usually reserved for Jimmy Carter's and Charles de Gaulle's, Bruce Springsteen made the covers of both Time and Newsweek. The future of rock and roll, he was called, the voice of a generation. But Springsteen escaped the pretensions, and legal troubles, contract troubles, kept him off the stage and out of the studio for nearly three years. Last night at the Garden, though, the promise came to be. It was, he told me, the most important night of my life. Last night. Because I go through two things, like, I want, I was a, there was a moment where I want everybody to come, and then there's the other moment when I don't want anybody to come in case I like, you know, <laughs> I blew up, I called up, I said, Mom, I said, listen, come on, I got reservations for you, come, come see me tomorrow night, you know, like I said, uh, but uh, I miss work, I, I can't, you know, working since she was 18, I can't, I can't take, the, I said, just take the day off and come, so it was like, uh, real special, and then, uh, crowd was great you know kids were like they were great you know and uh, it was uh was good <laughs> it was good Bruce Springsteen was on stage for an incredible three hours last night. He's at the Garden tonight and tomorrow, all sold out. Scalpers were getting 50 bucks a seat last night, but there are a few hundred seats in New Haven Friday. 
and Springsteen will be back in town next month. I have no more details, just the promise he will be back, and he's worth waiting for. I have heard just about everybody, but I've never heard anybody make rock and roll music like Bruce Springsteen. Roseanne. Thank you, Joe. The ABC World News Tonight is next. I'm Bill Butel, Larry Kane, and the Eyewitness News Team back at 11 tonight. Thank you very much, and good luck. Eyewitness News is the New York area's number one news presentation.